<laughs> okay, uh, well, I just logged on the server and uh, apparently my house has been decorated in cakes. <laughs> I am not sure who did this, but I have an idea. <laughs> I, uh, I don't know. Let's see if I can find like a clue or something. Uh, oh, there's a sign right here. Okay, hold on. Kill <laughs> Killing you with kindness from your best bud solidarity. Oh, thanks, man. I appreciate that. <laughs> I guess he decided to get me back for uh, covering his house in dirt. I wonder... Oh, I wonder if he did this to Vigo's house. Hold on, let's go run over there and check. All right, heading right across the bridge that's just behind my house. And my neighbor, Vigo Man, lives over here. I wonder if his house has been caked as well. Here, Vigo's humble abode. <laughs> it has. <laughs> oh my gosh, he put cake. Oh, dude, he put cakes everywhere. He only left like a few blocks empty. On mine, he left like a, more than a few. This is hilarious. Well, I guess Vigo and I are never gonna go hungry again, but uh, I do appreciate the gesture. Look, we really didn't want to be retaliated on from last episode. We were basically just dishing out some punishment because of his irresponsibility for letting out the villager that Vigo and I wanted to name and keep. But now I've been repaid in food, which is awesome. Can I, can you pick these up with Soak Touch? I think you can. Hold on, what happens if you pick them up? Oh, that breaks them. I don't want to do that. I want to just like, oh, Soak Touch doesn't work. Oh no, I'm going to have to eat my way out. All right, well, I think it's going to take a little while to eat my way out of here. I may just have to break these, which is kind of a bummer because, you know, it takes a lot of ingredients to make cake. You got to do like the wheat, the milk, the sugar, that whole thing. I really don't want to waste them, but I also kind of want my floor back, so. Anyways, let's get on with the episode. Okay, got this whole place cleaned up. I'm working on my last bit of cake here, but I thought real fast before we get into today's episode, I thought that I should probably adjust the prices in my bee shop. I'm thinking now that I've got a bunch of bee farms rolling and we've got a ton of supplies coming in, that we probably should lower the prices a little bit on our stuff here because pretty soon I'm gonna probably be getting kind of overwhelmed and drowned out by inventory. And I wanna make sure people keep buying stuff or at least that the prices are such that people can keep buying stuff. So I wanna lower these prices just a little bit. Let's see here. I'm thinking definitely we should probably lower the price of the bundle. Thinking 12 diamonds is probably quite a lot. I think we should maybe just lower it to 10 because the effort that I have to go through to get all the bees in the hive is still kind of like a pain. But, and then you get a bunch of extra stuff. Maybe we can up this to like, 16 bottles of honey and then maybe 16 glass bottles or something. I don't know. Let me think about this for a sec. I'm going to sort of analyze how I want to do this and we'll come back and I'll show you guys kind of the decisions that I made. So hold on a second. Okay. So I think I figured out a pricing structure that might work a little bit better. Hopefully the next time I check these barrels, I'll have some diamonds in here because it's really kind of sad coming over here and checking and not seeing any diamonds in here, but that's okay. People are still getting set up. Not everyone may have demands for honeycomb blocks or bees or honey blocks. That's fine. I mean, everyone should probably try the the, the sticky sauce. You know what I'm saying? But uh, <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, I restocked this. So we got that. I actually left this price at one diamond for 32 bottles. I think that's probably pretty fair, especially compared to when I compare it to one diamond for one beehive. I don't know. I mean, one diamond is kind of like the lowest amount you can pay since diamonds are our currency. So, you know, these these types of things, you know, with the, the beehives and the honey bottles, I can produce like just like crazy. So anyways, I decided then to change the pricing of this. So for honey blocks, instead of one diamond for eight blocks, I actually made it one diamond for 16 blocks. And I'm going to finish stocking all this uh, with honey blocks here soon. But I dropped the price on that or you get the price is the same, but you can just get more blocks now. Oh yeah. I changed the, the amount you get for this one as well for honeycomb blocks. So it's also now instead of one diamond for 16 honeycomb blocks, it's one diamond for 32 honeycomb blocks, which I think is pretty fair. Again, like I said, I'm producing a ton of stuff right now. And if suddenly this stuff all sells out and the demand goes crazy wild and I can't keep up with it, then maybe I'll try and either just expanding my automatic farms or I'll, you know, bump the price or I'll change the amount that you can buy for one diamond or something. But I think for right now, this, this works. Like I said, I left this one at one, one diamond for one beehive. And then I ultimately decided to leave the price of the bee bundles the same. So it's 12 diamonds per bundle. However, I changed the value of what you get. So instead of getting eight honey bottles and, and eight glass bottles, I've now upped it to 16 honey bottles and then 16 glass bottles. 
So I think that's a little bit better. And to reflect this change, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the book and I'm going to change the section in here that says what you get. So you'll get 16 honey bottles and 16 glass bottles. Cool. I think that that looks good. Let's go ahead and make sure we're on page one. But anyways, that concludes the shop management portion of today's video. And let's jump into what we're doing now for the rest of the episode. Okay, so I bet you guys thought that I had forgotten about the chapel. Nope, I have not. We're gonna be refocusing on the chapel today. And uh, before I started recording this, I actually went and just was on my way back over here and I killed a squid. Check it out, I got a squid head, woo! I wanted one of these since the beginning. This is freaking awesome. So today what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be, I hate to say finishing the chapel because the chapel is essentially done, but I think we're, what we're gonna be doing is actually adding to it. Hold on a second here. These are new, Jimmy did this. Okay, so Jim, <laughs> he's clever. So he opened up a shop in the shopping district where he's solving crime and solving mysteries and things like that. And he told us to install this, this uh, resource pack where he changed some uh, some pictures in Minecraft to basically make ads for himself. The chapel uh, does not look good with advertisements on it, so I'm going to remove these. I know where your shop is, Jimmy. It's right below my new name shop, and uh, we'll, we'll visit there if we ever have anything to solve. But let's refocus our attention on the religious chapel of the bees, because I have so many more plans and things that I want to do with this. But first, what I need to do is actually no we do need to go to the shopping district because i want to make some banners and i want to give slice lime a little bit of business we're not going to be able to buy a ton of stuff today because like i said i don't have that many diamonds right now as of right now i only have 11 diamonds which is kind of a bummer so let me get organized real quick we're gonna head on over to slice lime's brand new shop slash i'm gonna call it kind of like a workstation in the shopping district it's super sick i showed it i think last episode but we're actually going to use it today and make a banner for the chapel. Okay, so here we are back again at Slice Lime's shop. I actually, by the way, earlier today, added this to our to our shopping district here. It's a whole map of the shopping district, and I'm sort of hoping that this also encourages more people to build up here. I've actually created a portal up here. So this is my new name shop there, and I created a portal right here, and I'm Labeling this the upper shopping district because it goes up the hill up there and then we have the lower shopping district And I'm really hoping that this incentivizes this map Incentivizes people to want to like build out this space up here because we have all of this area to dedicate to the shopping district So anyways, I made some little signs that said upper and lower shopping district map and plan your day Use this map to see which shop you want to visit. So yeah, there you go All right, let's pop on in here to slice limes shop where we get to uh, Limes banners is what it's called where we get to make everything we ever want in banner world whoa this place is just amazing so it is five diamonds for any banner i'm gonna pull up a design that i found now like i said these banners are a little expensive but you get to use any design that you want hold on let me where's the atm i'm gonna grab my bed out of that so i don't have to put my under chest down i don't know if anyone's gonna sleep let's just go ahead and sleep here Yes, just out in the middle of the shopping district. How safe is this? Okay, so now that we slept, we can safely explore this area, which I just, it just feels like a workshop. I just love this, it's so cool. What I'm gonna do, I want a black banner, and basically what I wanna do in today's episode, and I need your guys' help, and I want you guys to vote down in the comment section down below, just sort of by, I guess, show of votes. So, so let me know when this video is done, which banner you like the best, because I'm gonna be creating three different banners, and you guys will have to let me know which ones you like in the chapel the best but because I'm poor right now and I only have six I only have six diamonds left in my wallet I'm gonna only craft one of the banners here in lime shop and then we're gonna do the rest at my place because I have some dyes and stuff as well here's what we need we need to grab a like I said we have a black banner then uh, the loom is over there so then I need some I need one piece of yellow dye I need three orange and two white. I'm following a little guide that I made. It's a it's a design I found on Planet Minecraft, but I changed some of the colors. So here we go. The first thing we're gonna put on here is the black stripes. Then we're gonna drop on the little segment here, this guy. Then we're gonna do the upper one like that. Then we're gonna put some white dye on here and we're gonna do this lower corner down there. And then we're gonna do the upper corner over here. Anybody anybody know what we're doing here? It looks like a little bee, right? Yeah. All right, so then we're gonna use our last piece of dye and voila, so there we go. Now we've got a banner that looks like this. 
that's got a little bee design on it. Pretty cool, right? All right, let's pop on over to my house and I'm gonna make two other designs and you guys can let me know which ones you like best. Okay, so obviously I could have saved some diamonds and just done all this myself here, but it is kind of fun to partici participate in the server economy and keep the diamonds passing around. And obviously everyone puts a lot of time and effort into their shops to create them, so it's kind of fun to use them and make people's ideas and things feel validated, which I think is really great. And I hope that everybody else on the server will do the same for me. So, all right, I have two more black banners that I've created here. The next two designs are going to actually be very, very similar. I do need some light blue dye though. So let's combine these two and we're going to make light blue. And I've got a little loom over here with <laughs> a llama's head on it. So the first design is going to be, both these are going to be B faces. One's going to be a normal uh, looking face and the other is going to be an angry face. Again, these are designs I found online, but I kind of had to adapt them because they were both not survival friendly, like they were seven steps and you could only do six steps on a banner. So I kind of cut out one of the steps and I think it still looks kind of neat. So the first one we're gonna do here is, it's gonna do that little triangle or whatever thing that's called, diamond design. Then we need, hold on, we need white and then we need four yellow. Okay, last step, boom. There's that one, there's that design right there which looks really cool. It's like the face of a bee, yeah? All right, the next design we need is actually, we're not gonna be using light blue, we're gonna be using red instead. So it's gonna be the same design, except it's going to be an angry face. All right, so there we go, there's the other one. So these are the two that I just made. Let me go outside, I'm gonna show you guys what all these, what th these, each of these look like next to each other. And then you guys can vote and decide, because basically, here, I'll show you. And then we're actually going to be doing another thing inside the chapel today. And I'm hoping to get Mythical Sausage in this episode as well. I haven't reached out to him yet, but I'm hoping that he'll be, he'll be up for this. Anyways, so hold on. Let me stick with the banners for a second here. So I'll, I want to make multiple, obviously, and put them all over. But I was thinking, you know, obviously having some, like, up there or something. You know, it, it could be any of these designs, really. But I want the same design. I want to pick one design throughout. And we can obviously use these other banners for other different things. Let me put these outside so you guys can vote. Let me safely remove these real fast. Hang on. All right. So these are the three banners, guys. Let me know one, two, or three. We're going to move from left to right. So this would be one, two, and three. Let me know in the comments right now which one you like best for the chapel. I don't know. I, I don't want to impose my bias on it, but... I know the faces look sweet, but for the chapel purpose of the chapel, I personally like number one. I just feel like it fits the whole bee thing. It's a full body of a bee, and we can maybe use the other two for other, but you guys vote. I'm not gonna influence it. <laughs> you guys vote, and I wanna see what you guys uh, what you guys come up with. Okay, so we're actually not done making banners today, but I'm gonna save something that's gonna be hysterical for the end of this episode. Real quick, what I wanna work on is something that I do wanna add to the chapel right now, and that involves brewing up some potions. I'm not sure if I wanna let you guys in on the idea of what I'm doing just yet, but we are gonna need some potions of slowness, and I'm going to be giving purpose to the chapel. Basically, the idea here, I'll, I'll sort of share a little bit with you guys, and then I wanna try and bring Sausage in and see if he will help me with it. <laughs> if it helped me with it, is I would love for the chapel to be able to be functional, where people can come to the chapel and receive a blessing. However, I'm rigging something up that I think is gonna be pretty funny. We need to brew some potions of slowness, so give me just one second here. So welcome down to my AFK fishing area, which is also sort of doubling as my temporary brewing room, where you're definitely gonna be making our own brewing room because I wanna get into some potion making for sure during this season. However, today we're gonna be making some potions here and uh, we're just gonna be doing it here. So thankfully with the AFK fish farm, we get bottles of water as sort of like junk, but it also makes brewing potions super, super easy. So what we're gonna be making today is some slowness potions, like I said. I think you have to do it with, you make the potion of swiftness and then you invert it. So to get the potion of swiftness, mostly you would just think, oh, all right, I need sugar cane, right? No, a true master of the bees will use his honey stash to make sugar because that is how you get it. Did you know that? I, I don't know, I, maybe you did. But yeah, honey bottles actually produce sugar. So one honey bottle is three sugar, which is pretty awesome. So sugar cane are not the only ways to get sugar now. But let's go ahead. I'm going to drop in a piece of sugar here. And oops, hold on. That's not going to work. That is not going to work. We, we got to make these aqua potions first. So let's use the nether wart. All right, we've got our aqua potion. Let's go ahead and make these into potions of swiftness. There we go. 
Potions of Swiftness, let's go ahead and invert them. Make these Potions of Slowness. And then I want to amplify it. So we're going to use some Glowstone. Make it even slower, because right now it's just uh, minus 15% speed. All right, so we amplified it. Now it's minus 60% speed, but we need to make them Splash Potions. So let's add the Gunpowder. Perfect. So here we go. Splash Potion of Slowness. 20 seconds of 60% reduced speed. I'm gonna brew up a bunch of these, and when I come back, hopefully we'll have a whole ton of these, and we'll take them over to the chapel, and I'll show you guys what we're doing with them. All right, guys, so I just brewed up some more of these Splash Potions of Slowness. Let's go ahead and drop these into our shulker box here, and I've got a bunch of these Slowness 4 versions, and then I made three of just the regular Slowness, which is actually Slowness for four minutes, but it's only 15%. A minus 15% speed. But either way, let's grab this. I'm gonna put these in my ender chest. I'm gonna mine this up here. And now what we need is a dispenser and some blocks. And we're gonna take this over to the chapel. I'm gonna rig something up. I, we also need a pressure plate or maybe a button. Uh, let's see here. I kind of thinking maybe we need, let's see. Let's see what a gold pressure plate looks like. Yeah, that looks. That looks ornate and fancy. I, I do kind of like that. So maybe we'll use that or maybe we'll try out like a button or something. But I'm gonna rig something up in the chapel and then I'm gonna show you guys what I've created when I'm done. All right guys, so here is what I've been working on and I really wanna show this to you guys, but I honestly think it might be better if I actually went outside and tried to find sausage and just brought him here to show, well, just to bring him into the clip so you guys can all see what I've done. He's online right now. Let me, uh, let me pop outside the chapel and head over to his place and see if See if he's around. I don't know what he's doing, but oh wait, hold up, there he is. Yo, sausage. Yo, hey, what's up? Wait, who's calling me? Is that you? Yo, yeah, it's me. What are you doing over there? Oh, sorry, I was just I'm putting more suspicious stews here. You know, this thing has oh. been selling like crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, I I bought some from there last week. Oh, did you try the Archie milk or the or, or the the, the stew? Uh, I I wasn't uh, the Archie milk. I I just got the stew. The Archie milk was like, I don't know. It yeah. It, it didn't sound quite as appetizing. It isn't. See, I'm throwing them away now. It's fine. I'm keeping oh, them away. what a waste. Yeah, throw that away. I think it's spoiled milk anyway. Those are munched on. Wait, so wait. Too I'll, long. I'll, I'll zoom in on it. Yeah, there's purple and green bits in there, dude. That's definitely spoiled. Yeah, I don't think it's right. It's good. I'm throwing them away. I don't want it's a pretty... lawsuit or anything. <laughs> it's pretty gross. I don't I don't know if you knew, by the way, but we have an offering box. So uh, oh. there's... If you feel... There's oh, one wait. One. Th there's offering in here. This is actually the first time there's been an offering. Amazing. Oh, wow. I got something for you. Hold on. Watch this. Oh, I do? got something for you. Yeah, let's go. Bum, 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 bum. Wow. Um, let's make oh it pretty gosh. looking. Hold on. Let's make it pretty looking. Oh, you could have, Ar a, you could have a stew. Put that on Archie the other side. Oh. Bum. Whoa! <laughs> a diamond. Awesome. Yeah, well, this isn't for me. It. If you read the science, it's not for me. It's uh, it's for the uh, funding of the church. Oh, funding the chapel. Oh, okay. So uh, you don't so get yes, any of that. Um, no, not at all. No, no, sir. No, it just, just it all trip. goes, <laughs> it all goes back into keeping this building from crumbling down. Okay, yeah, because you never know. Somebody could just pass by and just you know, boop. You know, thing goes like that. Oh yeah, right. They could. They shouldn't, but know. they could. <laughs> All right, well, uh, come in here, cause um, we're gonna. I'm gonna be officially sort of like opening this to the public today. I mean, it's been open. Everybody can can come in here, but. Uh, oh yeah, I think the, I, Shush. Yeah, I think the last time was the last time you and I were in this place. Was it when there was the mini version? Oh yeah, it was tiny. Yeah, yeah, yeah the, the the broken one you, before the upgrade. Yeah, yeah, before the massive upgrade. Yeah, yeah, we had some investors step in and, and they helped us build this giant, huge thing, but. But anyways, I, I got something new set up over here. Oh, you can open your mouth under there if you want. Hold on. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's tasty. So organic. It's, oh, man. It's good, right? Oh, it's so sweet. <laughs> man, I love these bees. I'm going to give one a hug. Can I hug a bee real fast? Uh, Wait, Yeah, but don't hit him, though. This. Don't hit him, though. Oh, I'm going to hug this bee. Uh, oh. Whoa. <laughs> he went right inside. He was like, I don't want your stupid hugs. He's so like, no hugs today. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I understand. That's fine. So I'm just, I'm just curious. How many, how many episodes have you made so far? Oh man. I don't even know. Is it like 11? I think 11 by now. He doesn't even know. I think it's 11. I've done so many. I've lost track. I mean, it's great. I, I think it's awesome that you've been, that you've been making so many episodes, but like inspiration. You, you gotta slow down, brother. Like, I mean, I've only, this is my sixth episode that I'm filming right now, and like, you're on what, 11? You didn't even know. I think by the time you get to 100, I'm gonna be a 50. Let's make a race to 100, let's go. No, no, I don't wanna, I don't wanna do that. Let's I just Okay, episode 59, wait, wait, coming up. Wait, wait, come, come back. <laughs> I've got a little something for you. If you just push that button and stand by that sign. Oh, right here? 
Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I just stand right here, right in front mm -hmm. of the sign that says yep. press to receive a blessing. And mm -hmm. I hit this button and I'm gonna get a blessing? Yeah, because I, I set it up to so that people could oh. come in and receive a blessing, and I thought maybe you could help me test it out. Oh, I'm gonna get a bless I'm gonna get blessed. Oh, you better believe I'm gonna do it. <laughs> oh What happened? What is this? <laughs> I got slowness! <laughs> yes. I think in order to help help you slow down oh. on your episode production, I thought I'd hit you with the potion of this slowness. This is not a blessing. It's a curse. I got cursed. This church curses you. How? No, how? it's it's Pastor. not a curse. Pastor. No, no, no. <laughs> I got cursed, Pastor. That's the stand-in priest. He, yeah, he's not he, talking right now. That's because his voice doesn't work when I'm here. When I'm he's gone, he needs that clown fish head. He's headless now. <laughs> I just got cursed. I take his head. It's look. It's not a curse though. It's just, it's a blessing. Think of it as a blessing. Slow down. You just say me slow down. Yeah, like you got to look at it in a positive way. I got slowed down again. There you go. <laughs> now walk. You got to use it and walk. I want to see how oh, slow you are. There it's you so go. Slow. It's even oh. slow when I step on the honey. Oh, look how slow. Look how slow. Oh God. <laughs> this is He's full so speed. slow. And now look at this. He's only going to get one episode out a week now. Oh, barely. Maybe one a month. <laughs> Oh, it's You're worst. so slow on the honey, dude. You're like so slow. Go, try it. Try to walk oh. down this aisle. Oh yes. Oh, this feels this feels slow. right. This feels right. Oh no. Look at it. Look how slow I am. How oh, are you dude. ever gonna do a video? We should do this when someone gets married in here. We should give them a push of slowness and they'll come down the aisle. It'll take them 10 minutes. All right, well, um, I think the thing I rigged up here, I think it works. I, I do think though that maybe I should add a few different blessings. Cause right now, I'll be honest. Yeah. It was a bit of a joke. Ha ha. ha, ha. Uh, they were, they were all, Randomizer. yeah, they were all slowness in there. Ha ha. What? But maybe we'll do like uh, some healing potions. Yeah. A little bit, a little bit of slowness. I don't want to do any that's going to hurt the bees because the bees no. here, like, dude, it took forever to no, don't get do them in here. Or anything. Do jump boost. I would love to see some bees jumping up and down. Oh, or like slow falling or <laughs> something oh, weird. Oh, <laughs> slow falling. Yes. They can just fuck <laughs> it out super, super slow. Oh, like anti-gravity bees. Oh, do it. Oh my God, that's like space age bees. You should work for NASA. Oh, space age bees. All right, that's my next thing. Sweet, this will be awesome. Yes. <laughs> All right, dude. Well, um, thanks for hanging out today. This oh, was, no. this, this Thank was you a for blast. blessing me. This was great. Oh, Thank you. You're welcome here. Let's receive this blessing. Yes. Oh, there goes my, ep my three episodes a week now. <laughs> Sorry, Sausages fans. He's slowing down. Oh, I'm leaving. This is the worst feeling. You leave on your own time, my son. Oh. <laughs> you got to bow on the way out all the time. Yeah, you do. Yeah, that's that's customary. Like this. <laughs> okay, super quick here, guys. I'm right behind the chapel, right where I've sort of rigged up this whole dispenser thing for the blessings. Actually, after having done all that stuff with sausage, I thought it would be a really cool idea to add some really kind of cool and helpful blessings so that people come and visit the chapel more. So I whipped up a bunch of different potions. We've got some potions of healing. We still have the potions of slowness that I made. We've got some potions of slow falling for four minutes, potions of strength for eight minutes. And then I also have some potions of fire resistance for eight minutes, potions of swiftness for eight minutes, and potions of weakness. So nothing that will directly hurt the bees or directly hurt people, no potions of harming or anything like that. And we'll probably also be working on a couple of different potions soon, like potions of invisibility and just some fun little things so people can come in here and just sort of get a random blessing. I'm gonna put all these though, just as a variety in that dispenser there and kind of hold on to the rest of the stash and see how many people kind of come in here and, and check those out. All right, one thing left to do so that we can let the soul server know that the chapel is open. Okay, I think that should work. <laughs> uh, oh, I made a giant billboard. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. That is so cool. Yeah, I think everybody now here who comes to the shopping district should know that the chapel's now open. There's no way you can miss it now. <laughs> maybe what we can do next episode, uh, or between episodes, maybe I'll set up just a tiny shop somewhere out here. Maybe doing a ton of shopping stuff, <laughs> which for me is really fun, but I'm sure you guys might want to see a few different types of things, but maybe what I maybe what I can do in between episodes is just make a little like shopping cart somewhere with all the letters of the alphabet or multiple letters of the alphabet and I can start selling advertising space on this billboard or I can make another billboard somewhere else or something. 
I don't know. I did use a lot of iron for that though. Holy smokes, I used a lot of iron for the, each one of those pressure or uh, trapdoors is four pieces of iron. It's craziness. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching today's episode. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, guys, please be sure to hit that like button down below. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought of the video as well. Subscribe if you're new here. And most importantly, once you've done that, make sure you click that bell icon so that you don't miss any future videos and you can get notified when I upload new episodes. Guys, I will talk to you later. Thanks so much for watching. Peace.